Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and since 2003, we actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. We actually started this channel so that we can help more people use their accounting systems more effectively. We will then greatly appreciate if you can like and subscribe so that we can reach more people organically. So in today's video, we'll be actually looking into some of the basic customization that you can do in AutoCom by yourself. So let's say you would like to create some fields to manage some details of your customers. For example, their birthday or birth month. This way, you can achieve filter your customers in the future and know which customer groups that you like to target. All right. So to do this, you need to log in to the AutoCom Management Studio. This system is actually only available in the PC that is installed with AutoCount as the main PC. All right. So also you have to take note, you need to log in as the administrator. Okay, so let's say we log into a testing company. Alright, to do this, we need, just need to come into here, tools, user defined fields, and then because we are doing something on the customer side, we come to maintenance, here we got adapter, and then we can just come here to maintain fields. Alright, so you can see we actually have some of the particular details inside here already. But let's say now we want to create a birth date as well as a birth month. So we just press the plus sign here. So we can type here birth date. All right. So because birth date is using a calendar, so from here we can select this is a date setting. Okay. And then here the caption, we can write it nicely birth date. We can also select what kind of format you like so for this example we're going to use just purely date format okay then press okay then birth date and then let's say we want to create also a, another field called birth month all right so here will be birth month and then here we can put it as a text box and then here we can actually put here properly birth month okay and because birth month, we already have a fixed set of 12 months every year. So we don't want some of our users put like January, put some JAN for January or JANUARY for January. We can create a list inside here. So from here, we have one called edit list. We can create a new list for this example. At, we can put this as birth months. So all we just need to do is we just need to type it like that. Example. Uh, January, but let's say I want to skip January first. I want to put February, March, April, May, May, June, July, August, September. Okay, let's say we just want to put a few of this. We just press OK, then we press Save press ok again and once we're done we just press save all right so now let's log in into our auto account system so let's say we come into maintain debtors yeah so now you can see we have two more columns called birth date and birth month so let's fill in some of the particular details say example this one we want to put under user define field we press edit then here we got birth date we can select for calendar and you can select okay example May 28 then here sorry here you can see we cannot select anything yet we can only type in the information so if for example even though we created a list we have to make sure that we tag it correctly all right so we can come here to user defined fields come here to adapters here we go back to birth month edit here here you can see the list is still blank we must select here birth month okay press ok and then press save let's say for example now of course now the effect is not there yet once you press save we need to close your maintain adapters first come back adapters here right click say example just now we use this one double click into it user define fields and then we press edit now you see there's now a drop down list so we can see january until september 
let's save and then now you can see the particular details here so let's say for example i want to filter all customers that are born in the month of september so if i use by date it's a bit difficult but if i use here i can actually filter here i want to see only september customers i tick here and the system will allow me to filter only september customers <music> So just now we actually created the list but if you realize actually our list is not completed so actually to complete this list or if for example you want to add more items into your drop down list we can actually come here to general maintenance here we come to user defined maintenance and then from here we can select birth month we edit and then from here we can continue adding so let's say for example i want to add january on top let's type here january October, November, and December. Alright, so then our list is completed. And then let's track back. Now, when we refresh, we select here, we edit, come to user defined field. Now you can see we got all the months already. Alright, so this is actually how easy it is to create unique fields that is not available in the system yourself. Do leave a comment below if you actually have a topic you would like us to cover. Thanks.